hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is hadidi makeovers if you're new here please don't forget to like subscribe and also comment if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the family so for today we are going to be doing a purple dramatic cut crease makeup tutorial a very detailed cut crease makeup tutorial so you guys stay tuned <laughs> you guys stay tuned and um, let's jump right into the video so before i start with everything before i start with my video the details about the video i am very sorry guys actually i'm going to be leaving the details of why i am i have been absent on youtube for let's say for over two three weeks yeah i have my uploading game has been down everything is just low i have been sick guys i have been sick i had malaria i had typhoid i had tooth a tooth decay yeah i had to go take out my tooth and i now developed a low blood sugar again so i have been sick jumping from one hospital to another going I'm just receiving injections medications and all that so guys i hope you guys will pardon me i am fully back now alhamdulillah i'm feeling better i am fully back now on youtube so let's see how this goes so guys let's jump right into the video so as you can see today we are going to be doing a purple dramatic cut crease makeup tutorial i'm going to be starting with her eyebrows then the eyes and then we move on to the skin we do the lips and then boom we'll be done with the makeup guys so let's see how this goes so i started off by cleaning her face using the micellar cleansing water though i did not record the part where i cleaned her face after cleaning her face i moved on to moisturize her skin though i know i'm going to be starting with the eyes first so i just had to moisturize her skin she has a very dry skin i don't know guys i have been trying to get a model that has an oily skin but i couldn't find one but i know very soon i'll find one and if i do i'm going to get back to you guys i'll do a video on how to work on an oily skinned person so let's keep moving on <laughs> so after i moisturized her skin i made sure I, I cleaned her face first to hydrate her skin with the micellar cleansing water then moved on to moisturize the skin again after moisturizing her skin i used um the cetaphil moisturizer to do that then i went ahead to powder her brows to mattify the brows then i outlined it using the davis brow pencil number 18 and then yeah after outlining i filled in the brows and then i am now concealing her brows i used i am using the ferrarucci concealer i wanted to achieve a very detailed eyebrow making sure everything is popping everything is coming out very well so i decided to use a concealer that is very bright this concealer is a smooth full coverage concealer so i am using the ferrarucci concealer to do her I highlight then i use the la girl pro concealer to tone down the outer and the inner part of the eyebrows can you see that so i am blending it right now making sure i get a seamless and even eyebrows i just want the brow bone to be highlighted while the inner and the outer part of the brows is looking like this after i'm done we are back guys i'm going to be going into my um lydia stanley eyeshadow palette to create this transition so first of all if you're doing a cut crease eye makeup and you want it to be very dramatic very bold and very detailed you have to get um, you have to apply your transitioning making sure you smoke out your transition guys if you're making it darker from lower you bring it up making it look lighter so as you can see i applied a purple color eyeshadow i just started mixing colors though i was experimenting on this if i knew i would have just used the other eyes to do the main video 
but yeah i just you just have to look for a shape that um as you're applying it you're blending upwards and the colors are fading away do you understand what i'm saying if you don't understand <laughs> just send a comment down below i'm going to be answering your questions so what you do is after applying the main eyeshadow color i wanted to apply it that's the purple color i used a lighter purple to blend out the upper part of the transitioning that is how i kept doing it i used even a burnt orange color just to give it that dramatic effect because i want the eyes to pop very well and so you want your transitioning to be a little bit darker i even went into my blush palette to use a very light purple shade like the light pink i don't know it's just a purple shade purple pinky <laughs> i don't know colors i don't know the name of the color but i know it's a purple a light purple color then i went ahead to use a black eyeshadow with another dark purple eyeshadow to cut the transition in the way i want it to look so can you see that so from the lower part of the eyes the eyes will be looking all smoked out that is when you use your eye primer to cut it guys it's going to make it look more ombre like your cut crease is going to be looking like an ombre um cut crease you get what i'm saying like um you want it to be well smoked out you understand what i'm saying when i cut the crease with my eye primer so i'm going to be making sure i blend out the transitioning smoothly you don't want it to be creating double layer of cut crease do you get what i'm saying i'm just going to be blending that out making sure i smooth that out properly and then using the powder palette to her shade of powder to like um to smoothen out my transition like to make it look softer so you guys should notice what i'm doing now i'm going to be tracing her eyeballs using my eye primer and as i'm tracing her eyeballs and i'll be cutting her crease so cutting her crease now you have to be very careful you want the line to be very straight that is a dramatic part of the cut crease guys you want your hands to be straight you want the you want the cut crease should, to be sharp very sharp that it can even cut somebody's destiny out of you <laughs> out of their life so i'm just going to be cutting that can you see the dramatic effect is giving us like it's giving us is giving us that um she has a big eye effect and all that it's because of the transitioning that i smoked out like the way I smoked out this transition and after I'm done with this I'm going to be applying the yellow eyeshadow you will see how this goes so we are doing a purple and yellow eyeshadow I just um, got inspired by what she was wearing and then yeah so applying the yellow eyeshadow now you see what I mean by the transition is going to be popping out very well like the cut crease the part where i smoked out the eyeshadow is going to be giving you a dramatic effect can you see this guys so i'm going to be making sure i set that in properly and then going in with the black eyeshadow I touched a little bit of a dark purple color going in with the black eyeshadow I'm going to be making sure I smoke out the outer contour of her eyes like the outer part of her eyes and then using a transition shade to blend everything out into each other can you see the main eyeshadow and the transition are well blended into each other guys I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying so can you see this 
hope you guys understand the transitioning effect I did before cutting the crease. It's making the eyeshadow look flawless, look more dramatic and looking more beautiful. So this is how it looks. Then we move on to the mascara. I'm going to be applying my 3x mascara, my all-time favorite 3x mascara. After applying it like this, I'm going to make sure I take off the eyeshadow fallout on her lashes using the mascara. Then I'll move on to apply her eyelashes, the false eyelashes. I'm using the Wink Lashes Nigeria. This lashes is the bomb, guys. Like this particular one this wink eyelashes in give them is a whips wispy lashes sorry <laughs> is a wispy lashes i'm going to be applying my lash glue and then placing that on her eyes you know yeah guys so um a tip for today what i do recently is i don't really line the eyes i make sure i apply the lashes first before lining the eyes so I'm going to be using a liquid eyeliner. So there's no reason for me doing that. If you just feel like applying your lashes before the eyeliner, fine. If you can't, <laughs> then that's okay. So I'm going to be applying the Mabrook liquid eyeliner. Sorry guys, I was not mentioning the products I was using for this video. But I'm going to be dropping it down on the description box. So that you guys will see. So after I am done with the liquid eyeliner, you want to make sure you clean the eyeshadow fallout on her skin. You know, we, did, we are doing the eyes first before the foundation. And guys, you remembered I applied moisturizer on her skin before. It was just there to make the skin look hydrated. Now I just cleaned the eyeshadow fallout on her under eyes. I'm going to be applying moisturizer again on her skin just to regain that moisture and to prime the skin at the same time using that same moisturizer so i'm going to be going ahead to do the upper part of her brows i'm using the shade fawn the ellie girl shade fawn the one i used on the outer part of her brows not the ferrari concealer this is ellie girl concealer in the shade fawn I'm going to be cleaning the upper part of her brows can you see that you want it to be very detailed so you have to blend very seamlessly and flawlessly so this is it guys we are done with the eyebrows I'm going to be applying her foundation so guys I just realized when I was editing I just realized that one of the eyebrows is a little bit higher than the other one but it was not bad sure. I'll keep practicing to get better at this my eyebrows are always not looking the same so I don't know so moving on to the foundation so guys what happened here was I am using a very light shade of foundation I mismatched her foundation but this is going to be a tip for you guys for today i'm going to be showing you how to get like how to match your foundation if you have a lighter shade of if you've applied a lighter shade of foundation on a person's skin i'm going to be showing you how to tone it down later in on this video later on on the in this video yeah that's the english right <laughs> later on in this video so i'm just blending the foundation i'm using the shade biscuit instead of me to tone it down a little bit with um the shade mango the califa foundation in the shade mango i used only biscuits to do the skin and it was super light not too light it was just a tad bit lighter than her skin tone so we are going to be toning that down so i'm just blend i'm just going to blend the foundation first So it was when I was applying the foundation on the neck that I realized the face, the foundation on the face is a bit lighter than her skin. Can you see that? So now I'm done. I'm going to be fixing this. So just trust the process. 
<clears throat> so you want to make sure you blend your foundation very well you want to get the edges the outer part of the face you want to blend that out don't add more foundation just use the remnants on your beauty blender blend it out and then boom you get it right so i'm going to be using the early girl concealer in the shade medium creamy beige i'm going to be applying this on her highlight i wanted the face to be a little bit to be very bold that's why i'm using a lighter shade of highlighter again you guys will understand what i'm saying later and just keep watching trust the process guys <laughs> So, I'm going to be making sure I blend that out smoothly. Yeah, guys so when you're blending your highlight you want to make sure you get into like the inner part of your highlights and then when you're doing the outer part of the highlight you don't want it to show any difference between the main skin color and your highlighter you want the face to be well highlighted rather but you want to make sure you blend out the outer part of the highlight so that it doesn't look too hard ashy or you don't want the lines to show and everything will just be looking all messed up and unprofessional so you want to make sure you blend that out smoothly and then boom we have our highlights done so guys before Before I tone down the shade of the foundation, I'm going to be making sure I blend that out seamlessly. I'm blending out the under eyes. You don't want to, you don't want the under eyes to have cracks or any creasing up under the eyes. So I'm going to be, after I blend out the under eyes, I'm going to be setting it with the Zikel powder palette. In um, what's the name of this palette? I can't remember, <laughs> but this is the powder palette. I hope you guys are seeing it. And um, yeah, so moving on to toning down the foundation, I use a very light shade of foundation. <clears throat> so I'm going to be setting up doing the setting powder first, and then we tone down the foundation. So using a lighter shade of foundation, you want to make sure. Um, okay you don't want to mess up your work maybe you just realized you applied a foundation that's a bit lighter than the person's skin tone if it's too light you have to clean but since this one is just a little bit lighter than her skin tone i'm going to be using a found a powder shade that has like a red undertone so that because the her shade she has um she's fair but her shade is a little bit red from under the skin like her undertone is a red undertone so i'm going to be using a foundation a powder that has red undertone you want to get that right guys you don't want to use a powder that has white undertone like a yellow undertone making it look too ashy or looking too white so um, I'm going to be using a powder that has red undertone from this same Zikel palette. For the powder, I used a darker shade, like a red undertone powder. <clears throat> something that looks red okay so guys for the powder i used a powder that is a little bit red it has a red undertone not too red and not a darker shade of powder just a shade of powder that has a red undertone 
so that is what i did you are supposed to use a powder not a foundation or you don't want to clean that off and start doing another work again so guys just trust the process the powder is already toned down so i hope you guys are understanding that is how i toned down the shade of the foundation like the foundation was too light so i had to tone it down with a red undertone powder so i'm going to be applying the blush just sweeping that all over her cheeks using a light purple blush and then oh, can you see how beautiful she's already looking who loves the dramatic part of her eyes if you do please drop a comment down below don't forget to give me a thumbs up guys so moving on to her lip i'm going to be using a purple shade lipstick from the v beauty palette from the v beauty lip collection sorry i'm going to be applying that on the outer part of her lips this is a purple shade i can't remember the name of the shade but it's a purple dark purple lip not really dark just a purple shade lipstick i'm going to be applying that on the outer part of her lips so her lips were small i lined outside her lippy just to give it that full bold lip effect so i lined outside the lips then i'm going to be going in with the pinky shade from this light very light purple shade i can't remember the oh no sorry the name was in pinky the classic makeup lip name was in pinky so I'm going to be using this for the middle part of her lips. It looks a little bit light, a little bit light purple. I'm going to be applying that all over the lip on top of the dark one that I used before. Just to give us that effect. This is not an ombre lip. It's just one, it looks like a one shade lipstick because where I applied it, after applying the dark purple, I applied the lighter one on top of the purple color. So I hope you guys are understanding this. If you don't send a comment down below, I'm going to be replying you guys. So I'm going to be going in with the lip gloss from this lip stain from Classic Makeup. I'll be applying that to, this is a light pink color, more like a light purple shade. I'm going to be applying that all over the lips. And then this is it guys hope you guys are loving this makeup look this is it guys we are done with the lips and then boom who loves her makeup guys if you do please send me a thumbs up subscribe like comment we do makeup and turban tutorials and then yeah so i'm going to be finishing off with the v beauty finishing powder from their powder palette I'll be using the red undertone shade again just to tone everything down. I'm going to be applying that all over her setting the highlights just to set her eye highlight again. So, guys, can you see the full makeup? Hope you guys are enjoying this. Then I'll move on to apply her on the, the waterline, the eyeliner on her waterline. I'll be using the Zaran gel eyeliner in jazz. I'll be lining her eyes. then after that guys i made a mistake i was supposed to do the setting spray before applying the eye mascara the mascara of the look for the lower part of her lashes and i applied the mascara before doing the setting spray and i regret that <laughs> i regret doing that but she had the makeup turned out perfectly so i'm going to be applying highlighter So 
so guys i'm going to be applying highlighter now i'm using the avor highlighter in hold o2 i'm going to be applying that on her cheekbones her cupid bow i already applied that on her cupid bow <laughs> on the tip of her nose then i'm going to be applying eyelashes um sorry i'm going to be applying mascara on her lower lashes sorry guys i've been distracted <laughs> So guys, I regret doing this um, lower mascara lashes. I regretted it because I haven't applied um, certain spray yet. I now applied the mascara. But sure, everything went out smoothly. After I dried up, I had to clean, brush off the stain of the mascara under her eyes and boom, that is all guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Hadidi Makeovers right here. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and also comment. I'll see you guys on Thursday for another Turban tutorial. Love you guys. Bye.